Hi, in this video you will learn what should be on the front page of your website for it to grab attention of your prospects. As well, you will discover number one mistake why websites of many coaches, consultants and experts are not getting enough clients. So if you are struggling to get clients, then this video could be a game changer for you. I see most of the experts from their websites are speaking a complex professional language, which is unclear to their prospects. They make simple design mistakes, too many unrelated and confusing text and images on their pages, and the most importantly, they don't make clear offers. And of course, lose clients and money because of that. After watching this video, you will have a clear understanding what should be changed on your website for it to become a client magnet. In this video, I have chosen a human design system as a vivid example for conveying my message to you. Recently, I posted on my Facebook page a video review from my client and a good friend, human design analyst Jacques Chapatou, where he shares the story of his struggle to develop an engaging website and what he did for his website to become number one on Google search. Jacques spent almost 10 years and invested a bunch of money in developing his website with a little success to get clients. But today his website is number one on Google search in the French language. So when we met, his website was not made for humans. It was kind of NASA project on human design. Jacques wanted to impress his website visitors and prospects with fancy images, with rave mandala, hexagrams, body graph, complex star diagrams, and so on. He was doing a great job in showing how cool human design system is. No doubts about that. Fancy, impressively complex website with all kinds of gadgets uh, for social media chats, um, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. It was like a Boeing dashboard. Fancy, complex, but no clients. So frustrating. And I see so many human design experts are doing the same mistake. They are trying to sell the tool, which is human design in their case. When you are developing your website, here's the first thing you should ask yourself. Is my website for professionals or for ordinary client? In other words, are you teaching about the tool, which is EFT, Ericsson coaching system, human design system, astrology, feng shui, spin selling and marketing, and so on? Or are you helping people with your tool? In other words, are you offering a solution to your prospects? This is a very important distinction for you to understand if you want to have abundance of clients and successful business. For example, in case you are teaching a human design system to the future analysts, then on your first page you can talk in complex human design terminology like generator, projector, manifester, reflector, rave mandala, body graph, profiles, planetary transits, and so on. But keep in mind, this will be of interest mostly to the person who has some prior knowledge in human design and who has interest in learning more about the system as such. On such website, you can sell courses that teach human design to the future human design analysts. An ordinary person, if he comes to your website, he will just get confused and leave your site for good. But if your prospect is an ordinary person without advanced knowledge of human design and is just looking for the solution of his everyday problems, then your website should only be talking about solutions to everyday problems of your prospect. You should explain every topic in humanly spoken language not in complex human design terminology. So if you are a human design analyst who is consulting people and reading their charts, the worst thing you can do on your website is to promote your tool, to promote human design. Instead of offering solutions and using human design as a tool 
for achieving desired results for your clients. This applies as well to any other field of expertise. Whether it's a life coaching or business consulting or any other advice-based personal services, they are all making the same critical mistake. They are trying to sell the tool. And my message is, don't sell NLP, don't sell spin selling techniques, don't sell human design system, don't sell emotional freedom technique, don't sell astrology, feng shui or psychology on your website. Now you may think, I have eaten some funny mushrooms and speaking nonsense. What else shall I sell, you may ask? Well, let's think about it. When people wake up in the morning, what do you think? What is in their head? Most of us, we are thinking about routine tasks for the following day. Something like this. What shall I prefer for breakfast? How shall I dress up for my presentation at the office? Will I manage to convince the boss to give me salary rise this month? Will I manage to pick up kids from school in time? And so on. Can you imagine someone waking up with this kind of questions? How can I learn spin selling technique today? How can I learn NLP today? How can I learn EFT or tapping today? How can I get my human design rave chart reading today? How can I get my astrology prognosis today? I doubt that many people, if any, wake up with the last line of questions in their minds. Or let's have another example. Say, if you would have a flat tire, which tire repair workshop you would go to? The one that promotes on his website wrench or jack or car lift? Or the one who promotes fixing tire? The choice is quite obvious to me. I would not choose the first one because it is not clear to me. What is this workshop offering? Are they going to fix my tire? Or is it a self-service buy where I will have to do it myself with their best tools? I would choose the one that offers to fix my flat tire. And especially if they have such a juicy offer where they will fix it with a Formula One pit stop speed in seconds. Wow, what an offer. So what does that mean? It means that if you want to get more visitors on your website or Facebook page, you have to address daily challenges of your prospects and should show how your service and your tool can provide solution to their problems. People are not looking for a tool. They are looking for solution. You have to become a problem solver in their minds. And yet, most of the experts are trying to sell the tool. Their business is suffering and they struggle to get clients. This is a very important distinction for you to understand. Tools versus solutions. Once you get it, this will be a game changer for you. Just changing your mindset from specialist to problem solver will give you plenty of new ideas for your products and um, your courses, uh, a new perspective to your marketing. It will give you much more energy because we humans are a social creatures and we love helping others. And that charges us, that gives us a motivation and inspiration to serve other people. So you get more energy for being productive during the day. The next big why you should not sell the tool is because you are competing with other experts in your field of expertise. NLP expert competes with other NLP expert. EFT or tapping practitioner competes with other EFT practitioner. Ericsson coaching expert competes with other Ericsson coaching expert. Spin marketing expert competes with other spin marketing expert. And so on and on. Let's take as an example human design experts. They all are selling the same human design system. And there is no uniqueness in that whatsoever. Everybody has the same mandala on their website and very similar offers. To be frank, I like human design mandala. 
there is something magical in it. There is order, harmony and mystic at the same time with all those hexagrams and zodiac signs on a wheel. But for the purpose of marketing, it has a very little impact. So at the end of the day, most of human design experts are selling the same thing and all they are doing is trying to outcompete each other with fancier combinations of mandala on their images and website designs. But if you will read the offers and other text on their website, it is like copy-paste, similar one to another, without any uniqueness. And yet the offer is the most important thing in the marketing. Offer is the main reason why people make a decision to buy consulting services, particularly from you, instead of your competitor. Apple outperforms any other phone or computer producer in sales not because they have a so much better phone, but because they have a unique offer. They offer a lifestyle. They offer a future vision of technology instead of just a phone. So instead of competing with fancy images on your website, you should place a compelling offer on your front page. And here, by offer, I mean a solution to your client's problem. Let's look at another example. Imagine a working mother who has a problem with her teenage daughter. Say her daughter is 14 and her room is always in a mess. All her clothes are scattered all over the place. Here and there some bag of chips, empty soft drink bottles, some half-bitten apple and room smells like there is some dead rat being regularly refreshed with cheap perfume. Okay, you get a picture. This is a real problem, especially to a mother who likes order in her environment. I'm father of three daughters and I have experienced something similar. So she tries everything, talking to her daughter and trying to reason, hoping she will understand. She tries to persuade her, she tries to bribe her, she even tries to threaten her to take away iPad or TV from her room. Nothing works. Well, maybe sometimes, shortly before Christmas or before her birthday, she cleans up the room just to get better presents from quote-unquote Santa. But the next day, her room again looks like a disaster site. So mother decides to search on Google for a solution. What will she type in her search bar? Most likely, it will be something of these lines. What to do when kids' room is in a mess? How to make children clean up their room? Or how to persuade teenager to clean up their room? Or how to motivate teenager to clean up their room? Or something like that. Do you think that there is a chance that she will type in the browser how to get human design reading for my daughter? How to get a Feng Shui expert to convince my daughter that to have a good Qi energy her room should be tidy and well organized? Nope, very unlikely. So she begins her search on Google and let's suppose that by a very unlikely accident she clicks on a Google ad of some human design website link. She follows the link and guess what she will read on that page. A typical human design offers like get your free chart, find what type you are, learn about yourself, instantly generate unique human design birth chart. Does any of those offers resonate with her problem of messy daughter's room? It's obvious, the answer is negative. So she will leave this human design site and continue searching for a solution. Of course, she will eventually find a site of some family counselor or psychologist who will offer a solution to her problem. But the most important fact here is that the human design analyst from our story missed out the opportunity to get this lady as a client. And to me, it is pity, because I don't know a better tool for solving problems with kids than a human design system. And actually, I just told you my story. I had exactly the same problems with my oldest daughter's messy room. I was lucky. Back then I met Jacques and he made our human design readings for me and my daughters. 
I am manifesting generator, my twins are generators and my oldest daughter, she is a projector. So, within one month, my oldest daughter's room, which was a complete disaster site, turned into a museum. Just by using understanding of her type and strategy. I don't think she even noticed her uh, moment of transformation but till today, wherever she goes, whatever she does, she always takes care of aesthetics and clean environment. Human design has become a big part of my life. I'm not planning to become a human design analyst, but human design definitely is helping me a lot in, in the business. So please consider, if on your site you have similar offers of get your free chart, and you are not making offers of solutions to your prospects' problems, then not only you are losing opportunity to get those clients, but also you are not serving to those who would really benefit from your expertise. People are searching internet mostly for either solutions or entertainment. When they come to such website, they try to determine, is it offering me an entertainment? Hmm, doesn't look like. Is it offering me a solution? Doesn't look like two. And leave the site. The maximum what such site is attracting are some web surfers with no particular agenda, who don't mind to try different quizzes, crosswords or sudoku. Although human design can help in so many areas of people's daily challenges. What I'm trying to emphasize here is that by being lousy in your marketing, meaning not having clear offers on your front pages, you deprive yourself a chance to help your clients to have a fulfilling lives. I believe if we are given a chance to help people with our expertise to live a more fulfilling lives by understanding their own nature, by understanding the energies around them and to find peace of mind with their real self, then we should learn how to market our coaching and consulting services. I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but if you want to grow your business and use your income to contribute to your country and community, to serve more people by launching some charity project, to afford devoting more quality time with your family, if your business is doing well, you can travel the world with your beloved ones. You can provide a better education to your kids. You can take a better care of your parents. And even just the basic desire to have a better car or house are all possible when you have a successful business career. I don't know your story. There could be other options. Maybe you have already abundance in your life and you can afford a website just for fun and you don't need additional clients at all. Or maybe you have created a cool website to show off to your friends or to the world to inflate your ego. Maybe you want to keep your expertise by yourself and have your website just for sake of having one. I'm not here to judge you and you have all rights to choose how you run your business and life. But to me, if you have spent so much money and time to learn human design or any other system or science, then this is just a common sense now to learn how to effectively promote and sell your services. As we see, there are two types of experts. The ones who want to make a contribution to the humanity with their expertise and by developing a successful business. And the second ones who want to keep their expertise by themselves and they don't care much about the contributing or the income. If you belong to the first group of people, then I strongly advise you to learn the art of selling. Yes, it is a real art and it can be a very exciting process if you do it from the heart. And this is exactly the way I teach people to do their marketing. Only from the heart, only with respect, only with care, only to play fair and to become a problem solver. This last one is probably the most effective and secret ingredient to a success of the most gurus. I know that soulful entrepreneurs, they don't like selling. 
They think selling is evil or manipulation. This is true in a part of the corporate world. But we should learn how to do it in an ethical yet effective way. I invite you to test my message from this video and to do following exercises. Number one, do a little research on your competition. Go to Google and type in your expertise, like NLP or emotional freedom technique, uh, Feng Shui or social media marketing or spin selling and so on. Pick some first 10 websites. Look at their homepage. And number one, try within the first 15 seconds to understand what problem this website is offering to solve. After that, write down how many exact problems this particular website is offering to solve. A little note, I think you will be surprised how similar your colleagues' offers on those pages are. And exercise number two, ask few of your friends who never seen your website to look at your homepage and to try in 15 seconds to understand how you can be useful to them. Ask them to explain you in their words how they understood, what can they get from you, what problem you are solving from your website. Basically, this is a test for you to get feedback if your offer is clear to people. A little hint, if they will say that I understood that I will get some kind of chart analysis means that your offer is not clear and your chances of getting clients from your website are slim. So remember, people don't care about charts or your fancy images. People are looking for solutions. And as more clear will be your offer to solve their problems, as higher chances for you to have a successful business. From the moment Jacques began addressing his customers' challenges and became the problem solver on his uh, blog post and in his videos, once he made a clear offer and when he simplified the website, removed all this NASA stuff and uh, the Boeing dashboard, his email list is growing, he reached the 5,000 friends limit on Facebook, He's number one on Google search in French language. How cool is that? Just little tweaks here and there. Changed his message from tools to solutions. And boom, completely different results. If you as well want to have an engaging website and to make sure your site is sending your clients, instead of wasting your time, money and efforts, number one, I have prepared for you a website design guide with 21 important things to check on your website before you show it to the public. If you already have your website up and running, this checklist will help you to fine-tune your site for a better performance in acquiring clients. So go ahead and download it, it is free, under this video there is a link or instructions how to get it. Number two you can apply for your free review session of your website or landing page or evergreen sequence. At this session, you will get advice on what can you improve from the design perspective and what adjustments you can make to improve your sales offer. I'm not at all for being fancy, but more about being clear in your message. There is nothing more important than clear and compelling offer in online business. Today's online marketing is all about competing for people's attention. There are so many attractions online. YouTube cat videos alone outcompete any news or sports channel. And unfortunately, we are competing with these cats online today. So if your sales offer is not clear, does not offer to solve your client's problem, you are losing clients and money. This review session is free, but I can only take five people per week. So use this opportunity, because I don't know how long I will be able to do these free sessions. Those will be 20 minutes of intense focus on your site and answering your questions. In exchange, all I'm asking is you to share your biggest challenges in finding clients online, which will help me 
to create a valuable content for you and our community. To apply for your free session, click the link below this video to send me a message and my assistant or I will contact you shortly. If the message in this video resonates with you, I would appreciate you to like it and share it. So till the next video, look for solutions for your clients, pay forward, live the life of great purpose and values. See you in the next video.